Hey, Murawski. You want a room? Claire runs the desk. Give her something to do besides breathing down my neck. Okay. Greetings, Whoa. buddy. It's you. Would you like eggs Didn't I just see you? One, I got whip or did you want to oh, man. You should joke. definitely try this stuff. You have any work? Yeah, actually, you might be perfect. You know the gunners, right? The high-end mercenaries? Well, a few of them were talking about scavenging around that old hallucinogen building. I mean, just think about that name. There's got to be some shit there that's out of this world. You get me something, I pay you 200 caps. You said gunners are out there? The blackest hearted mercs around, friend. Well armed, organized. So, you know, make sure they don't catch you. Anything more you can tell me about Hallucigen? Like I said, that name's killer. They probably made all kinds of chemicals worth grabbing. The gunners were willing to send a team in there, and those guys don't go after lame marks. Your offer's a little low, Fred. All right, let's make it 250. All right, Fred, we have a deal. You're the best, the absolute best. Hey, Fred. You're blocking hey, my Cleo. light, doll. Don't worry. <laughs> I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. Feel free to browse. I've got a few minutes to browse. A gun for every occasion. Reveal yourself.
What the? Scanners detecting sentient life. Bingo. Alert level elevated. Scanning. Area not secure. Repeat. Sweet. Area That's not up. secure. I have been programmed to efficiently terminate human combatants. Yep. It's over. Got it. Yes. And I'll just take this. Huzzah! Glad that's over. Wayne, 
I'm leaving this message with Marcy in case you come looking for me. Though I pray you don't. The military took over the hospital, and everything's gone to hell in the city. Things here, the It's bad, Wayne. People are dying every day, and most of the time all we can do is watch and try to make them comfortable. One of the other nurses told me she heard a radio signal that sounded like you and the boys. I don't know if it's true. If you're still out there, but we've got a way out, and I'm going to try to find you. Yes. Goodbye. Come to Mama. Bingo. Time to put on a show. I know you're here.
do. Bullshit. Come out and fight. And I'll just take this. Only a fucking coward hides. Why do they always gotta fight back? Want some more? Pleasure was all mine. You need a long break. Repeat, a chemical leak Who? has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Yes. No good. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Hell yeah. Mine now. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building.
Please, evacuate the building. Bingo. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. I need a long break. Broken. I need a long break. You're not killing anyone. Good at what I do. Nice. Goodbye. Bye. Carrington wants a word. <clears throat> you must not be afraid of heights with all the work on the Mila project. You got the time? I got another site we could place another one of my babies.
Or we could just do some shopping. Let's see what you got. Oh, you got it. I can't believe those synth haters still have it in for us. We saved all of their asses. Bastards. All of them. <clears throat> We've been traveling for a spell. I was hoping to have some words with you. I'm listening. I'm used to flying solo, but I got to admit, working with you makes me think I've been missing out. Having someone watching your back is refreshing, especially since you never know when the Institute is watching. Don't get all mushy on me. Oh, I was just about to open up about my first pet mole rat, Bessie, and the time we had to put her down. Some people at HQ were jealous. You took the big nap and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up, then they expose friends and loved ones to danger. You're safe from that. You're saying that losing my boy is a good thing. Oh, Jesus, no, I didn't mean that. Look, if the church gets compromised and the coursers are on our tail, at least you're not putting more people in harm's way. That's all. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a synth. At least that's what they tell me. So, I really don't have anything to lose. For Glory and me and the others, it's easier to dedicate ourselves to the cause. You're a synth? Why didn't you tell me before? I don't like talking about it. I was one of the first synths they did the whole cranium reboot on, so... It was a bit of a botched job. Most synths have fun fake memories. A happy home, a family. Me? I got nothing. And that... Well, it does something to you. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. If you expect me to believe you, I want proof. All right, you got me. No fooling you, huh? Don't take it personally. I lie to everyone. Maybe I'm just another human that has people back home he wants to protect. Then again, Maybe not. <laughs> Is that really why you lied to me? I'm supposed to be showing you the ropes in the railroad, so let's just say this is lesson... well, whatever number we're at. That code I gave you is a hard truth. You can't trust everyone. Even if someone sounds sincere, they could be a synth replacement working for the Institute. The bitch of the problem is recognizing the 90% of the time someone's on the up and up, and the 10% of the time you're being played. Hey. An unknown number of Institute scientists and coursers are in the Commonwealth.
Hey. We've been making the rounds, doing the job. It's time you learn the big secret. Everyone thinks that Desdemona is the big boss. She calls the ops, gives the rah-rah speeches, but it's just an act. She does what I tell her to because the railroad, it's my show. It's been that way since I founded it. You? You founded the railroad? Sure. Me and Johnny D and Watts. Hell, that was over 60, 70 years ago. After a while, you lose count. I tell everyone I get the occasional face change to stay anonymous. Truth is, it takes a lot of work to keep this mug handsome. We've come a long way since the beginning. We've done a lot of good, saved a lot of synths. But we're about more than that. We are the last and only line of defense between the Institute and the Commonwealth. Hell, maybe even the world. You've lied to me at least once. This is just more of the same. Yeah, you got me. But you're gonna hear the same sort of lies elsewhere. There's other organizations out there, and in time, I'm sure they're gonna spoon-feed you their own patented form of bullshit. Ignore the verbiage and look at what they're doing. What they're asking you to do. What sort of world they'd have you build. And how they're gonna pay for it. So what's the railroad's deal? We're not about saving the world. Too big a job for too few. But we're trying to make it a better one. One synth at a time. And care about the little guys. Maybe lend a hand on the side. Not as much as some would like, but hey, it's something. But the real question is, what do you think of us? And at the end of the day, you'll need to make a choice. Make it the right one. Hey, Doc. No doubt you have other matters to attend to, but we've got a lead on another synth in danger. Any relevant details? The runner's report is threadbare, but hopefully sufficient. You know how this works. Need I say it? Good luck. Hey. Hmm? Hey there. Hey. I... I got something important to say. I really appreciate you putting up with my bullshit. Truth is, it's been a long time since I, I've had a... friend. I'm a liar. Everyone knows it. I make no secret of it. Because the truth is, I'm a fraud. To my core. When I was young, a, a hell of a long time ago, I, I was... well... Scum. I was a bigot. A very violent bigot. Were you really that bad? Worse than that. I ran with a gang in University Point. We called ourselves the UP Death Claws. For kicks, we'd terrorize anyone we thought was a synth. We kept egging each other on. Started with some property damage, graduated to some beatdowns. Then, inevitably, a lynching. The Claw's leader was convinced we'd finally found and killed the synth. Looking back, I'm not so sure. You killed someone. That one was enough for me. It was his eyes. Those eyes haunt me. It's bulging. So I turned my back on my brothers, broke all contact. Time passed, I became a farmer, if you can believe that. Then, one day I found someone. She saw something in me I didn't know was there. Barbara, well, she was... She just was. What was she like? She had a smile, like on those old magazine covers. Her eyes... We were trying for kids. Eking out a living. Then one day... It turns out my Barbara, she was a synth. She didn't know that, I certainly didn't. I don't know how the Death Claws found out, but there was blood. So they killed her? Yes, I don't remember much clearly after that. I know I killed most of the Claws. I must have made a big impression. The railroad contacted me, figuring I'd be sympathetic, seeing that I lost my wife. 
And, well, what I did afterwards. Is this the part where you admit it's a lie and try teaching some stupid lesson? I deserve that, but no. That's the end of the story. I don't even know why I lie anymore. But I can't tell the truth. Everyone, Tom, Des, you, even that asshole Carrington, they deserve to be on the railroad. I don't. I'm everything wrong with this whole fucking commonwealth. You're the only friend I got. I don't deserve you being okay with this. Hell, I'm not even asking for it. But I figured you should know. That's a lot to process. I can imagine. Listen, you must be wondering, hey, is Deacon messing with my head? Again? But even if you don't believe anything else, know that you're my friend. Maybe my only one. So, good talk. <laughs>